Prahu, zdravím Tábor, zdravím Brno, my jsme zde v Brně. Česť, Varsava and Poznaň. And hello, Van in Mountain View and Ade in Google London. So this is, uh, I will be speaking English now. This is pretty much the first, as far as I know, use of Hangouts to connect the GTAX throughout Europe and with Google in London and Mountain View. Uh, it will be either epic fail or epic win. <laughs> so let's, let's hope we will be going for, for the win situation here. And it's, it's perfect to see, you know, all of the chapters here in different locations. So what I will do now to test connection so that we can make sure that Ade can hear us. Uh, I will pass the floor to each of the uh, chapters so you can show us where you are located and just make a quick introduction, uh, make a quick introduction about your, uh, about your chapter. So I will start here in Brno. Uh, Brno is in Moravia, so you can see we are in a nice sort of cellar. Uh, it's about maybe 15 people here. The rest of the gang didn't probably get that we are starting at 7, so they'll come at 8, but we'll see. And uh, I'm here not just from Cheetak in uh, Brno, but we have also Cheetak in Bosnia here. And these guys are doing the Cheetak magazine, so I will ask Dushan to come here. Thank you, Dan. Hi, guys. Uh, I will introduce you to uh, GTAG Mag. Uh, I published it uh, two days ago, and from today's statistics, we have 600 reads, so it looks nice. And I won't bother you, but I will call all of you to contribute to the magazine and to spread the Google uh, voice. Yeah, I won't bother you. Bye. See you. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, this is Brno. So now I will pass the floor to Praha. So Ivan in Prague, you can unmute your mic and show us what you guys are up to. Hello. Hello, everyone and everywhere. Uh, my name is Ivan and I'm from Prague. And uh, I am a leader of a local chapter, not uh, Prague, but uh, University of Economics. And now he is about 20 people. So now let's say hello. <laughs> <laughs> so I then to Tabor. Radku, uh, můžeš? Hello, you is Tabor. Do you hear us? Okay. Uh, we are yeah, there is five, five of us, five. six, but uh, we are doing uh, low, but we are growing. And uh, what can I say? Uh, I'll pass to. Uh... Okay, thanks, thanks, Radek from Tabor. So let's switch to Poland. So, uh, Poznan. Hi. Um, so <laughs> I, I'm over over the uh, over the screen. Uh, here, here we are uh, together. Uh, it's around uh, nine of us. And big uh, big hello from from Poznan to all of you. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, thank you very much. And the last chapter to join us today is Jakub and Warsaw. So Jakub, the floor is yours. Um, hello everyone. Uh, we are here in the radio WWW um, Central. We have here four people from uh, Warsaw. We are now waving. Hello. Um, and good to be here. And hello to everyone. <laughs> Okay. So, thank you very much for the introductions. 
And the last one that I will pass the floor to will be uh, Ade. But maybe before that, uh, I want to uh, use the special privilege that we've got Van here. And I don't know if uh, you know that, but Van actually started what I believe was the first uh, GTAC under the name of GTAC. So we have a little discussion with Van because the first G, which he started in the Czech Republic, the first GTAC started by Van. And then I believe you were hired later on by Google to do what? Tell us a few words about what you do, please. Okay, Van, can you, can you hear me? Uh, can you please uh, introduce yourself? And you might have to turn on your microphone. You don't get any sound from me. Oh, sure, sure. I did. Yeah, I, I misunderstood. I thought you said you were handing over. So, uh, well, hi everyone. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, just to talk about the GUG GTUG history thing. As far as I'm concerned, once we clarified that you guys were doing technical meetings from the start, I don't really care what we call it. The important thing is getting the community together on developer uh, around Google's technology is what really matters. So we'll we'll either go with your mistake or if the Pune if the Pune GTUG started uh, earlier than you guys, whatever. We'll figure out what that you know initial day was, and that'll be the the GTUG anniversary from now on. I'm fine with that. Um, glad to be here. I'm looking forward to, to uh, like uh, Ade was saying in the chat. I don't know if you guys looked in the chat window. Love those T-shirts to put those together. Um, Want to find out about that? And uh, I'm just here to to listen to you guys. So I'll, I'll turn it over back to you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, it's good that you like the t-shirts, we actually made them specifically for this event in the Czech Republic and if Ola from Google in Poland permits, uh, I will make the same ones for, for Poland and you might make them global. I have to admit the idea wasn't mine, uh, it, it's just an image that floated all around the internet and I completely love that, you know, when you look at it, <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> And by the way, this is probably for the first time in my life that I am showing my chest and I am proud about it. So, <laughs> this is a very special moment. But anyway, and now the main guest and the very special uh, guest today is Ade from uh, Google London, I believe. And I'm really glad that we've got Ade here because he is the person to talk uh, with about G+, and basically all of us here are G plus users, mostly we are developers, um, but we are looking at G plus also from the uh, standpoint of people actually using it. So if you look at the questions that Ade got from us, there is uh, lots of them. So Ade, I will pass the floor shortly to you and uh, I will ask you to spend whatever time you feel is appropriate, 5, 10, 15 minutes, uh, uh, looking at the questions from the moderator that you got. And uh, then we will see uh, what questions we might have here at individual chapters, and I will be uh, passing uh, passing the link. Can you share the link? Yeah. I found it. Yes. So, well, so Ade, I will I will pass yeah. the floor now to you. So feel free to introduce yourself, and then if you can go 10-15 minutes with the questions from moderator. Uh, if you need any translation support, I will be here for you. Uh, and uh, watch uh, watch the chat uh, box if somebody has um, clarifications or questions or we can't hear you. So basically now the 15 minutes is yours and then we'll go chapter by chapter. So I'm using our mic and Adi, uh, it's completely yours. Hello, so I'm Adi. I work in Google London, but I'm actually part of the Google Plus team. So if you want to look, that's what Google London looks like. <laughs> so we've just moved recently, so um, there are packing crates everywhere. So basically, just about everybody who works on Google Plus is in Mountain View, with a few small exceptions. So I'm an exception. Google London is currently a bit boring, but we're doing some cool stuff soon. That's why we're all you know, packed in here. But, so I'm basically here so that we have somebody who's in Europe to actually talk to and listen to people like you. Basically, let's see, where should I start? Well, I've been at Google now four years, so I used to work in partnerships. Before that, I used to work on a little thing called Jaiku. Um, some of you may remember Jaiku. Um, so about a year and a half, better go, a year and a half ago, we started doing a bunch of stuff, first with Buzz and then with the bigger Google Plus project. So um, 
basically, I'm going to just go through the questions. So, first question, um, if you're a company, which seems to be asking, if you're a company, what can you do with the Google Plus service as it is right now? So, well, actually, at the moment, there's not a lot a company can do with it right now. I mean, obviously, we, the easy thing you can do is the plus one button. If you actually, but there's more than that, though. Which, so I'm going to show you something we built here. It's a Chrome extension. If I can find it in my search results. So, there. So I just posted a link to it. It's a Chrome extension that I that uh, Paul Kinlan and Neil Marie Aikinen and, and myself built. And all it does is, every time you open a new tab, it shows you an image and lets you plus one it. That's really quite simple. But as the photographer who took the photos, it's quite useful for me because it sort of lets people see my photos. So at the moment, as a company, we don't really want, it's a bit too early for companies to be on board. We'd rather people from those companies got on board the project, tried it out, understood what makes it different, because Google Plus is different in a lot of ways from things you've seen before. And as we roll out more and more features, you'll see that we're doing, we're solving the same problems you've seen before, but in different ways. So if you've seen games, has anybody got games yet? No. So raise your hands if you have games. No? Okay. Well, it's only just started rolling out. I don't have games yet. <laughs> Again, with games, we looked at how everybody else did it, and we said, could we do a better thing? So the way we've done games, they go to a separate screen so that it doesn't fill up your screen with stuff you're not interested in. But, so, so basically, if you're a company, get your employees using Google, uh, Google Plus, and then in a few months' time, we have Google Plus for apps, so your company can use it with its own employees internally. They will also have business profiles, so that your company can set up an account there and do stuff with it. And then, of course, once we have the APIs, we're going to do much more interesting stuff. So, let's see. Hey, Ade, can I just uh, chime in on one thing here? Uh, uh, just, just related to the GTUGs, I mean, once they have the ability of the company accounts, I mean, that will definitely accelerate getting GTUGs able to get those types of accounts. I mean. Yeah. I mean, one of the things I would expect is that every GTUG would create their own account so that if I want to know what's going on with a GTUG, there's one place I can go to and it's a stream of stuff GTUG has done. The photos and the events, the videos, all that. Yeah, I think that's very great to hear. Uh, Ada and Van, you should know that we are recording this session and we will be publishing it. So what you said <laughs> now is almost a commitment and it's great to hear that and we'll totally appreciate it. But remember when we first started with the business profiles, we were going to try a very small trial of a small set of businesses so that we could experiment and then roll it out to everybody. Basically, um, we got so many people signed up that we filled the first spreadsheet and we had to set up a second spreadsheet. Then we filled that. At which point we realized that everybody in the world was going to, fill, was going to sign up. So instead, what we're going to do is when we launch this, it will be for everybody. So that's should be sensible. So, second question. When will the public API be available for G Plus and web application for Android? Um, the honest truth, when we finish them. Um, they're not finished yet. So we can't tell you when because they're not ready. Uh, so the next question is, will Google Plus display advertising? If so, will it be advertised through Google AdWords or if they're a separate platform? Um, to be honest, we don't know. Basically, there's no real massive product. Make a decent amount of money with our existing product. Google Plus is much more focused on building something that has a good experience for users. There's no rush to basically monetize everything. So, the answer to um, will it do some advertising? We don't know yet. But it's not something we're going to rush into. We're still in field trial. We haven't. And next question is: Will Google, with Google Plus, can you sometimes will you be able to create an event? So at the moment, um, not yet. 
If you can come up with a clever way of doing events, tell us about it. We'd like to know. So, I, keep, I keep saying we don't know because we've been out for about five weeks now. There's lots of stuff we basically just put it out there and we don't know how people will respond to it. I mean, when we started Hangouts, we didn't imagine that people could work out how to do you know, video within Hangouts or how to chain Hangouts. So people have been doing amazing things. We didn't think people would do that. So we're doing a field trial basically to see what people come up with. So I suppose the answer is, will we wait to create an event? If somebody comes with a clever way to do it that actually works for people, yes. But we haven't come up with a way yet, so we're not. Um, so the other question was, can we expect integration with Latitude in the near future? Um, we already have integration with Latitude. You can check in and it goes to your screen and you choose the circle it goes to. So uh, if, you, if you've got Latitude and you've got checking switched on, you can check them in. So for example, on Monday I added the um, place to Google London, somebody deleted it, and then I checked into that. So, let's see. Um, so the question is, so this question seems to be asking, are we going to have support for apps within Google Plus? Um, again, this is going, we're not really going to do that. We're going to have an API, obviously, and people will build interesting things. But we're not just going to copy what's already there. We're trying to find new solutions. But if you've seen the Google Plus um, launch announcement, one of the things we talk about is that we think the way a lot of the social software on the web works is broken, and we think it's possible to find better solutions. So I don't think we're going to just do apps the way you've seen them before. We're going to do an API, we're going to see what people build, and if it's clever, we'll incorporate it. If somebody comes with a better idea, we'll use it. Um, okay, so the next question appears to be in Czech. <laughs> I could try to pronounce it, but a translation would be helpful. Uh, maybe if you copy and paste it to the chat, you can see. Okay, what will be the age limit for G+. <laughs> so, currently, you have to be, in field trial, you have to be 18 and above. So, we'd like to get younger people in, but if you want people under 18, there's a whole bunch of stuff you have to do to be legally compliant in every country, and that's not there yet. So, I don't know what the under the lower limit will be, but we definitely want to get people below 18 in there. But it's going to be a country by country, lawyers looking at the laws in each country, working out what features we need to add to protect people under 18. So. So we're going to make it much more open in the field trial, but that's going to depend on lawyers on a country-by-country -country basis. By the way, if um, you have any feedback of any of these answers or you want to um, ask a follow-up, please do. I'd like this to be as interactive as possible. So, so the next question is, what about Buzz? Um, it's a two-part question. The first one is, what about Buzz? The second one is, what's the possibility of people automatically publishing stuff to Google Plus? So, here's the problem. One of the things we notice with Buzz is that quite a few people, they sign up for Buzz, they connected their Twitter account, their blog to it, and then they never actually responded to anybody's comments on Buzz. Whereas when we look at Google Plus, when Michael Dell or Newt Gingrich or Paris Hilton posts, they actually reply to your comments, and people love that. Um, so, it's a different question from we just asked in chat, which I'll answer next. But um, so the point is, at the moment, Buzz is basically very good as a social aggregator, whereas Google Plus is about people actually saying or sharing things themselves manually. So that if I post, so I think the last thing I just posted is about this. People can tell I was really there. So at the moment, we have this interesting little thing where Buzz has all your feeds going to it, 
and plus has all your actual human interaction. And we have both. We may keep both. We may merge them. We may do something else. But um, again, we don't know. Basically, we're five weeks in. We've got a lot more people using Plus than we ever expected. And we're still going, oh, people can do that with it. Or people are doing this thing with it. And we just don't know. Um, so the next question was, what technology is Google Plus written in? So it actually, it's the same technology as Buzz. So it's a Java application where, you know, so it's a Java web app in the front end, Java, C++, and a bunch of other stuff in the back end. We're using a bunch of templating technologies, some of which we very open source. So we use Clojure. Uh, you've seen the Clojure JavaScript library. So we're using that. Um, we're also, if you, there's also an open source project called GXP, which we're also using. Um, but apart from that, it's mostly sort of internal, all the usual internal Google technologies like protocol buffers. It's very similar in many respects to stuff we've already done. So let's. So, and as for the um, automatic publication of bound resources question, uh, we have absolutely no plans to let people just pipe their stuff in from all over the web and just dump it into um, Google Plus. Um, one of the things we, that everybody who's used Google Plus has told us is they don't want people to pipe in their tweets. So we're not going to do that. So, um, so let's just I'm going to bump back to the chat. So Radek Simco asks, why is it not possible to easily move contacts with Circle to Circle? Um, you should check that, actually. I think it's actually a lot easier nowadays. I think you can either alt that alt in the Circle picker and drag and drop. So that should copy or move. So if somebody can try that, try, I think, either alt or shift, when you move somebody from Circle to Circle, will actually do what you've asked for. So the other question was, do we add, plan to add any form of payment or credit system to Google Plus? Um, as far as I know, we don't. But to be honest, I'm not sure what you would pay for. So we already have Google Checkout. So if we, so I assume that people would be able to integrate from the Google Checkout libraries and Google Checkout APIs to whatever we do with Google Plus. But I don't know of any actual plans to put checkout in there. We're going to wait to give the other chapters a chance to catch up. And okay, this question so, appears to be in two languages. So, so I will. Uh, so I'm going to uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. So please, let's make this one the last question from moderator, and then we will go chapter by chapter. And okay. if there are no questions, then we will take the rest of the questions from Google moderator. Okay. Okay, so this question, which, can somebody translate that? I... Okay, so, okay, so it says that uh, Google Plus has some very impressive numbers of usage, even despite the newness of the service, but how does Google want to um, sort of attract the users uh, which are not using Google services yet? Uh, Actually, the 45% of users who plan to uh, continue uh, to using both sites, probably meaning Facebook and Google Plus. So, in other words, how do you want to get people from Facebook? <laughs> I would say. Well, think of it this way: there's, a, I'm not sure where the data comes from, but there's roughly two billion people online. About a billion of them use Google services on a regular basis. So, for us, if we take those billion people and we improve the quality of the experience they have, that's a pretty good start. 
billion people. <laughs> then it becomes, okay, you have a billion people, they get a better Google experience, better search results, better, you know, better YouTube sharing, better photo sharing. Just, you know, that would be rather cool. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes, okay, you have a billion people, how do you get the next billion? Then it becomes um, much more about what people build on top of the platform. So if we people start building interesting things on top of the platform, I think that's how we're going to grow. Because if you've seen the stuff we're doing with the new APIs and the new libraries we're doing, it's going to make it easier to mix and match Google products in your product in your things. So if you look at something like um, Google API Python client, so that's something I work on. I'm a bit biased, but that lets you easily talk to Buzz and eventually to Google Plus, but it lets you talk to Latitude, it talk, lets you talk to the Prediction API. So I think the power of the platform and the libraries and the developer experience we offer, I think that's going to be the thing that's going to distinguish us. Okay, uh, thank you very much. So now uh, let's change the process a little bit. So I will uh, give the floor to uh, individual chapters. And um, I will always say what chapter will have the floor for one question and what will be the next so you can prepare in your towns. So let's start with Poznań because Daniel seems to have quite a lot of questions. And the next one will be Warsaw and after Warsaw we'll have Prague. So uh, Daniel from Poznań, if you have any question, uh, you guys, the floor is yours. Yes, well, uh, I have one question about uh, content which uh, is visible on Google Plus. Will it be searchable like uh, other content in Gmail or uh, Google Reader? So, I think asking, um, about, uh, about, so at the moment you can go to this search, this search. you can do that and you will find any pub any public content you've shared. Obviously in the long run we're going to have a so one of the things I'm trying to make clear is that when we say we're in field trial, we're not joking. So the fact we don't have proper search is one of the things keeping us in field trial. So at the moment that's all the search we have. Obviously we're going to give you, you know, this is Google, we're going to give you search. But of course, we want to do it well. We want to do it in a way that actually respects the things that make the product different. So obviously, a search that only shows you public content isn't that useful. But um, if you've seen Buzz, you can see that we definitely understand the importance and the power of search, especially if you're going to build things on top of a product. So we're going to give you search, but um, again, I can't say when. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you, Adam. So now we'll turn to Warsaw and Prague is getting ready. So Warsaw, please. Okay, do we have any question from Warsaw, please? And Jakub, your mic. Uh, I was wondering uh, whether okay. okay. I was wondering uh, whether you are part now. After the part, something the same thing. Actually, they're very different. Um, so one of the things you will see if you look at something like my my Buzz account, you will see that. Sometimes there'll be a half an hour period where I'll share a dozen articles that I've just read in Google Reader. And that's okay in Google Plus. Or you look at when I do a check-in on GitHub or code of Google, it goes to the buzz. And people, if they don't like seeing my code check-in, they can just mute that source. In Google Plus, my friends, my family would be a little bit upset if I was just dumping every check-in I ever did to them. So at the moment we have both products. I think we we need both products. They solve different problems. In the long run, we don't really understand or know yet what we're going to do in terms of do we connect them, do we separate them. So we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, thank you, Ade. So now the turn will be to Prague, after Prague, Brno, after Brno, Tabor. So Prague, Ivan. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, I have a question about uh, about the Google apps for your domains accounts, which currently are unable to use Google Plus. So uh, I know you are promising it will be available, uh, and probably you don't want to give us any specific dates. But the most important thing for me is uh, I have to use Google Plus now from a different, from a standard Gmail account. And when you make it available for uh, for your for my own domain. Would I be somehow able to transfer my Google Plus account to this uh, new uh, new uh, domain account, or would I have to start uh, from zero again? Oh, well, we have a Google app for your domain account that I use with my main one, and I can't use Google Plus with it. So, we I don't think we're going to provide any explicit migration tools. But what my plan, my personal plan, is that. When we have the API, I'm going to write a little script and migrate all my circles across. And I assume that's, you know, for most people, I think that would be a really effective solution. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Ada, for the answer. I guess we'll love to hear more about Google Apps, but I understand that's probably most what you can say now. So. Uh, if we have we have it. I mean, we are, we actually have an internal instance of Google Plus that we use. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of stuff that's not ready yet, which if you go through the product, you can say, well, you have to do that yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we have Bruno, and after Bruno, there will be uh, Tabor, and after Tabor, we'll go back to Poznan. So, Bruno, in the question. Hi. Uh, my question is very simple. Uh, that's about uh, working on uh, working on uh, making new games and new applications. So, uh, what technologies are you going to support? If you are going to support PHP, Python, JavaScript, what libraries are we expecting to to be available for our development? Thanks. Uh, all of them. So I really need to write a blog post about this. I've sort of been meaning to. But if you're looking at, actually, I think I have a list somewhere. Uh, OK, I don't have a list somewhere. Basically, if you look at the stuff I've been, we've been talking about, it was at the last Google I.O. and Google I.O. before, we're working on these new kinds of libraries that are discovery-based. And one of the things they do is they change the way we build APIs. We go from this thing where, a team builds a product, then they build an API, then they build a client library for two or three languages, and then they stop because they have to maintain them. We're moving instead to a model where you use a central system to build your API, you, re you write a discovery document, so a JSON file that says my API looks like this, and then the existing libraries for Python, Ruby, PHP, .NET, Java and Android, Java and Git. <laughs> Lots of libraries. Uh, basically, those libraries read the JSON file and, and give you, you know, a bunch of classes and methods that do what you want. So the idea is, if you have this breadth of libraries, then any new APIs, any new endpoints we, get, we create automatically work. And you can mix and match. This is what we've been working on within the realm, within the engineering groups, for, well, last Google I.O. and the Google I.O. before it. It's a very different approach to building libraries, but I think it's much more powerful, and we really should talk more about them, actually. Um, so yes, so basically, all of them. <laughs> okay, that, that's a perfect question we took a lot to hear. So now we are starting another round. Uh, actually, no, uh, passing the floor to Tabor, and after Tabor, we go Poznan in Warsaw. Okay, one question from Tabor. Uh, are you planning to integrate uh, somehow uh, like a Google Calendar to, uh, to uh, Google Plus? Uh, like events? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So at the moment, I don't know of any plans to do so. I think partly because we don't want to just smash together all our products. It has to be useful to people. So there's a big question there about how would you make Google Calendar social in a way that was useful to people who use Google Plus. Because otherwise, you don't want the sort of Frankenstein effect where you sort of glue everything together, whether it makes sense or not. So at the moment, there are no plans to do that. But again, if somebody comes up with some useful feedback or some clever way of doing this, we'd definitely be interested. OK, thank you. And before we want to close now. Yeah. Um, do you plan to intr uh, introduce any kind of statistics system into the Google Plus? I think um, uh, so, it's weird to have my own way. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> 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 at the moment, uh, the Plus One button already has analytics and webmaster tools. It has analytics in Google Analytics. When we do business profiles, I think that's the most likely place for us to add analytics. So it's something we'd like to do. Again, it comes down to what's a sensible way to do it. Again, do you really want to know how many people reply to every post you made? Or is there some useful way, some new and innovative way of doing the same thing? So the answer is currently we don't have any plans and we tend not to talk about future stuff. We're much more interested in seeing the kinds of things people build and seeing whether those things basically suggest that there's a need here, or there's a demand here. OK, thank you. And now the floor belongs to Warsaw. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hi. I have a question about the um, connection with the Google Plus team. Besides the feedback thing, do we have any, like the uh, manager, do we have any uh, connection with the more important thing, things with, uh, to share with the GTAC please, G plus team? So in terms of connections, so last night there was the Google Plus platform blog, um, you may have seen that. Basically, at the moment, we have nothing to post because nothing is ready yet. So that's going to be the main place we're going to be you know, pushing information out there. Um, at the moment, we have a watch new page for Google Plus itself. Um, so I, I'll find the link afterwards and post that. So basically, that's going to be where we're going to be pushing out new stuff on the product. Um, various people in the various teams that make up Google Plus they announced the small features, bug fixes on Google Plus. And you can usually spot those because they get reshared by everybody. So, and of course, people like Vic and Bradley do Hangouts and you can just talk to them directly. So, if there's something else we could do, please let us know. Oh, and of course, oh yeah, the GDB. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of GDBs um, in the next few months. Okay, thank you very much. And let's uh, get back to the Czech Republic again. So, Prague, do you have any question again? Hi, uh, are you planning to integrate uh, Gidgets or Gidgets API to the G? Could you repeat that? Uh, are you planning to in integrate Gidgets API to the G? Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think so. But what would you do with them? It's probably better if you tell us what you would do with them, and then I can change what, what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Ivan, I feel free to uh, respond if you want. Uh, uh. It's uh, good because uh, old, uh, uh, Wave uh, Gidget API has uh, for savings state, so it can uh, programming Gidget for uh, many people. Ah, so funny enough, if you look in the Hangout, there's a button saying invite, a button saying chat, and a button saying YouTube. 
if you look at the YouTube feature, the feature lets you watch YouTube videos, and you look at the URLs behind that, that's Wave. So one thing that I think, um, oh, I think Hamid Mansour has been doing, he's been doing things like plugging in Wave gadgets into Hangouts, and he's doing some very clever stuff. So if enough people start playing with that and showing that there was a real need for that, that's something we would definitely consider. But again, it's what well, do people actually use this? We don't want to just basically plug in everything just because we can. We want to plug in stuff because people say they need it or want it. Uh -huh. okay. okay, so we will take the floor from Bruno and we just chatted here about what's our question. And uh, speaking about games you introduced yesterday, uh, will you plan to incorporate some sort of uh, in-game money like Facebook credits? So it seems to be the same in-game payment system we use in Chrome and in Android, so it's the same system. Mm -hmm. And will you also use a, so I, I guess that pretty much answers that it's not going to be like Facebook credits, so it will be like regular dollars or whatever currency it will be. As far as I'm aware, that's what it's like, but I haven't looked at it recently. <laughs> okay, that's a very good, very good answer. Thank you. And so go, let's go to Tabor. And after Tabor, uh, let's see how the time is going. So Tabor, now the time is yours. Okay, so I have a question. Uh, what about the official numbers of users in each uh, country? So how many users, for example, is in Czech Republic of Google Plus? Or that? So at the moment, we have two problems with that. One is that because we're in field trial, and you basically have to get an invite, the number of people using the product is artificially lower. So, you know, surprisingly, it's a lot bigger than we expected, but it's a lot less than it could be if we you know, finish field trial. The second thing is that only Larry can publish those numbers. <laughs> so, um, ask Larry. <laughs> <laughs> What's his email address? <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you very much. And uh, I know that your time is limited. Um, would we have time for another round or should we conclude our call for today? Pardon? Uh, sorry, I, I couldn't hear it. We can do one more round. Okay, so let's do one more round. So one more uh, round. The last question for Poznan. So Daniel and Poznan guys, go ahead. Okay, so do you plan to integrate Google Docs into Google Plus or any other of uh, Google services? You can see the, the bar at the top. So at the moment, you can basically access Google Plus from all of these things. In terms of more stuff, um, basically we're going to do more, more integration, but all we have right now is the sandbar integration. If you look at books.google.com, you can see that from books.google.com, you can share a book to the Google Plus screen, and it'll pull the book in there. So we're looking to see if there are other things we can do to hook in the rest of Google products with this. But again, it's very early on. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your answer, and also. Uh, hi, can we expect uh, integrating Google Music with uh, G Plus soon? Soon is a very subjective word, <laughs> but um, we are definitely talking to them. A lot of it is finding ways to make that work. So the problem, one of the issues you have with Google Plus is your music is private to you because it's your locker. So what can you share with other people? I, so a lot of it for us isn't so much whether we will integrate or not, it's do we have an integration that makes sense. We're trying to avoid the thing of, we'll just put a plus one button in everything, or we'll just put the, the bar across everything. It's looking at each product and saying, does this actually make sense? Will this actually be helpful to people? 
And one of the things we're trying with Google Plus is we're trying to be relatively slow but actually quite careful with how we connect things together. So for example, how would you integrate Reader with Google Plus? The obvious way is to just simply share everything to the screen. And then if I read five articles or ten articles, do I want to just spam everybody? So we're going to do integration, but it's going to be carefully thought out. Okay, thank you. And now we go south to the Czech Republic. Uh, Prague, your last question. Sorry, no question for Black. <laughs> Plus one, Ivan. <laughs> Thank you. So, Bruno, do we have a question? Okay, uh, last question uh, for me. Uh, I've already tried to export my data from Google Plus. Uh, are there any plans uh, to allow? allow uh, importing your data in JSON format or whatever? So when you say importing your data, can you be clearer? What do you mean by that? Importing it to where? Uh, for example, when I export my data and delete uh, that account, I want to import back my friends into another account. Ah, so that's one of the things that's on my own personal list of things to do the moment we launch the API. So it's something we're not going to do, but it's something that we expect people to do with the API. Let's... Okay, uh, thank you very much. Now, we have a last question for Tabor. Uh, after that, uh, Ada, uh, Ada had a question. Ada, how do you pronounce your name? Ada, Ada? Ade. Ade. So Ada had a question for us. So after Tabor answers, uh, I would like to pass the floor to anyone who has the answer uh, from any of the chapters to Ada's question. So, before we do that, Tabor, your last chance today. Okay, uh, so Ade, are, uh, are you planning to increase the number of uh, users uh, for Hangouts? Actually, now it's uh, 10 users, uh, so it's a technological problem or any other? Basically, Hangouts to prepare technology. It's a centralized server, so each of these makes a connection back to Google. Google then mixes them and then sends it back out. So that means when you do this Hangout, there are 10 streams going to Google, being mixed and sent out again. As you increase that number, that like, the amount of data being sent back and forth increases as a, well, geometrically, I think. I'm fairly sure geometrically. Um, a better mathematician than me can tell you exactly what happens when you have 10 connections pointed to each other. When you have 11 connections to each other, then 12 connections. The number gets bigger and bigger very quickly. So that's a hard problem. There are other problems as well. For example, how much CPU does a Hangout use as you get more people dialing in? If you can bring down the CPU usage, then people on more low-powered devices are then able to use Hangouts and have a lot more, a better experience with Hangouts. So there are two different dimensions we have, we're trying to fix at the same time. Lower the CPU usage, but also find ways to increase the number of connections. So it's something we'd love to call. If somebody has a solution, please tell us. OK, uh, so thank you very much for your last answer. And I, now I think it's very fair to get to your question. So let me repeat it. You ask, uh, how are we going to use uh, G plus on uh, GDD? And all of the Czech organizers and many of our um, attendees today will be on GDD. Uh, when it comes to Poland, I just shared today with the Polish organizers that all of them uh, will be eligible for the VIP pass in Prague. So I hope to see you all here. So uh, in other words, you have no excuse not to answer <laughs> your question now. So uh, I will mute my mic now. And uh, if any of your chapters will want to share What's uh, your idea about how to use G Plus on Google Developer Day? Please go ahead.
I don't even have enough questions. Okay, okay, I'll give you one. one of the ideas I've had. I'm not sure we're going to do this, but it was a crazy idea I had. Imagine this, you go to the GDB, and there's a Chromebook in each corner of the building. And then anybody can just simply sit down, and if the Chromebook is already logged into a Hangout, and you just sit down and you can talk to anybody who jumps into that Hangout anywhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an idea which, which occurred to me, because I think the natural answer to your question is just to share uh, what we experience on GDD and share pictures and tag people and whatever. But as you can see now, the power of Hangout is so tremendous that we can do live broadcasts to people who couldn't come to uh, GDD. And you said uh, Chromebook, you know, we are pretty much Chromebook ready. <laughs> And we even can broadcast from the illegal devices. <laughs> so I hope we aren't going to get arrested for showing the device which is now banned in Europe. To me. So, but uh, I have to say, I uh, well, I think when is um, Hangout going to be compatible with uh, Honeycomb? Because I would love to stream for Honeycomb, but I can't. What's the really? No, I can't. I can't do Hangout from Honeycomb. Okay, okay I'm going to talk to the other people about that. I thought we did. No, we can't. Unless I'm completely okay. and that's really stupid. Are you trying it from your end? <laughs> I, I haven't, but I will um, ask them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tried and I didn't get the plugin to work. So it might be a miss setup on my device. I don't know. By the I way. There's one thing that might happen. Mm hmm. Um, one thing we might want to do is, suppose we could get it working on Honeycomb, could you maybe have a hangout with somebody who takes the tablet around the room, around the conference? Uh, Abe, I will, I will totally and completely do it if you can give me a hangout on Honeycomb, you know, uh, until GDD. And that would be really awesome. So I'll talk to people and see what, you know, what, what the problem is. Um, I thought it worked, but um, Dan has a, like, something to say. <laughs> okay, Van, do you have any idea how to use uh, yeah, Plus? I'm, I'm, I'm here. Okay, so. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to push really hard to have a nice GTUG lounge space at every GDD like we have at uh, I.O. And have a nice screen set up there, and I don't see why you know either if I'm there or whoever or Stephanie's there, whoever's there, like uh, as the main WL contact for this, can establish a hangout in there, at, like you said, so that people that aren't there can actually virtually be there in the lounge, you know, throughout the event. So I think that's a great idea. I love the I love the tablet idea too, but I'll, I'm going to do what I can to make sure we have a lounge area and a hangout going there the whole time at every DDD. I, I can't say that it's going to happen for sure right now, but that's what I'm gonna work on. Yeah, and and you know, and you got a serious problem with Honeycomb tablets now in Europe. So, the Chromebook or you know just the Windows box I'm sitting on right now might be more feasible. But yeah, but like running three or four even simultaneous Hangouts uh, would be uh, quite cool. And I know from the uh, GDB team, which plans the Prague GDB, that the internet connectivity is a big um, focus this year. So really, really try to make the internet working unlike last year. But you know, it always is kind of an issue on such a large convention. So I imagine that the internet didn't really work even on Google I.O. So we'll have to figure out the way. But uh, if we have a you know, like a permanent stream coming uh, from the uh, Cheetah launch from TV in Prague, in Germany, that would be pretty awesome. And Ada, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ada you, can help it, you can help it out by giving us the honeycomb access, then it would be completely awesome. Well, that's why, that's why I think it's probably more realistic to work on getting a, a, a fat pipe wired connection into the lounge, stationary one. I mean, if we can do the tablet thing too, great, and get the connectivity for it and everything. But I, I think uh, as a baseline, it'd be nice to have a lounge that was a hangout space. And and I think we can get a dedicated line if we plan for that in advance, so that we we're not on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> so I have a little tip. You may not have noticed this, but you can sign up the Hangout multiple times with the same account. So one of the things people have been doing with that is you sign up the Hangout. If you've got two or three Chromebooks, you sign up to the same Hangout and just leave them 
around your house, and then basically, if you're too lazy to go up the stairs to chat with somebody, you know, you can just simply go to the hangout and say, hey, can you bring this down? So that's been really cool, and the more machines you have, the cooler that is. Perfect. Uh, thank you. So I guess we are about to close uh, today's official part, and uh, as I said in our preparation email, uh, let's keep our hangouts alive so that we can at least see what's going on. Uh, I just have one last thing. Stepan, can you come here? I want you to introduce you to Stepan. And Stepan, if you can sit here. Actually, Stepan is the guy who made up this whole idea of a G plus meeting. Like he sent me an email about a month ago saying like, hey, let's do the meeting of the G plus users in Brno. And uh, he didn't know that he's sending it to you know, GUG. So we made, it, we made it pretty global. But this meeting that we had today, this is Stepan's, you know, he's the mastermind behind that. So thank you, Stepan, for sending me that email. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Ada, thank you very much for coming, and Van, thank you very much for being with us. And as I said, don't turn off your uh, hangouts. We want to see, you know, what drinks you guys are drinking, and we'll keep the chat going on. So, <laughs> 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 so the official part is over now. So now the wild part of the party is starting. And Van, it might be tough for you yeah, because yeah, it's Diana. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, well, so I have a meeting with the Google Plus team, which starts in 60 seconds. Which I shall be, um, it's a different hangout. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different hangout. So say hi to the bus team and we. I will, and I'll tell Vic about the honeycomb problem. Yes, thank you very much, Ada, and see you later and see you on GDD. I'll see you guys. I'll see you on Google Plus. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye. Woo! Dobrý, díky, Štěpán. Já jsem to skýnal, tak... Uuu! Já jsem to skýnal. 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 Já jsem to skýnal.